2016 has been another crazy year for the weird and wonderful world of comic book movies. Deadpool made a sh zillion dollars and probably started the ball rolling for a generation of red band superhero movie trailers. Batman vs Superman also made bank and was wank. And Marvel Studios continue to get their dick out and shout, look, look at my golden dick. From long awaited showdowns to entertaining cameos and every demented flourish in between, let's look back at the super year that super was and pick out the very best of the best. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and here are the 10 best comic movie moments of 2016. Number 10, Tony Stark meets Peter Parker, Captain America's Civil War. And so Spider-Man officially joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this terrific scene where Tony Stark visits Peter Parker under the pretense of awarding him a research grant and also really wanting to f his auntie. The two go into Peter's room for a private chat where Tony quickly reveals he knows that he's Spider-Man, mocks his lo-fi Spidey costume for offering him a serious upgrade. The scene is pretty much perfect on a writing and acting level, quickly inserting Peter into the MCU with minimal padding whilst also nodding at Uncle Ben's death without having to show it yet again. Number 9. Strange gets his mind blown, Doctor Strange. After all, he didn't spend seven years in medical school to be called Mr. Strange. In the visually unconventional but warmly received Doctor Strange, the eponymous doc heads to Kathmandu, Nepal, to meet with Tilda Swinton's Ancient One, only to find his spirit slingshotted into various dimensions, including one made entirely of hands. Gropey. A love letter to the acid-washed psychedelia of the 1960s, the decade in which the Doctor Strange comic began. It's a collection of the best goddamn screensavers in computer history, and an absolute marvel if you saw it in 3D. It's a statement of intent, damn it, that this wasn't your average superhero flick. Number 8. Wonder Woman Arrives, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice In the climactic battle of the, in my opinion, sh Batman vs Superman movie, Supes and Bats team up to take on the giant bony punchy baby Doomsday. With the Batwing smashed into the ground and with Doomsday charging up an energy blast, all hope seemed lost, but then, kablams, Wonder Woman arrived to deflect it with her fancy gauntlets. The finale may largely be a mess of brown and grey CGI, but damn it, Wonder Woman looked the part and with Hans Zimmer's amazing theme, it made her appearances one of the film's big joys, even if the trailers spoilt it months ahead of time. Fourth sake. Number 7. The Ancient One Dies, Doctor Strange During a big bust-up in an origami kaleidoscope, the villainous Kaecilius manages to impale the Ancient One and kick her through a portal which gives her a very big owie. As she flatlines on the operating table, Strange communicates with her on the astral plane, time slowed down to a fraction, the winter sky around them a picture of discordant beauty. And then, this line happens. You think after all this time I'd be ready? But look at me, stretching one moment out into a thousand, just so I can watch the snow. That is sad, moving, and f***ing brilliant. Number six, the ending, Batman the Killing Joke. The long-awaited R-rated adaptation of Alan Moore's classic graphic novel may have fallen far short of its potential for the most part, but it's hard to deny that they nailed the grim, ambiguous ending. Torn straight from the comic, both the Joker and the Batman start laughing hysterically together in the rain, both of them exhausted, beat up, and teaching on the verge of losing it, while Batman at least Joker f***ing cracked long ago. The Joker's laughter eventually fades out while Bats keeps laughing, and then fade to black. It's a canny move on the director's part, stoking the perpetual fan theory that maybe, just maybe, Batman ends the story by killing the Joker in a fit of manic madness. As ever, it's up to the fans to debate that point forevermore. Number 5. December 16th, 1991, Captain America Civil War. In a surprisingly emotional third act, Cap, Iron Man, Bucky, and Black Panther, the real Fantastic Four, follow Helmet Zemo to a Siberian Hydra facility wherein the big bad plays a tape which reveals the truth, that it was a brainwashed Bucky who killed Tony's parents, and not just killing them, running them off the road and then punching them to death. Cap admits he knew, and then whoops! All hell breaks loose. Robert Downey Jr. is amazing here, giving easily his best performance in the entire MCU to date, and of course, at least to one hell of a showdown. Call bullshit on this if you must, but it's the most emotionally loaded action scene in Marvel history. The scene has far more visceral appeal than usual, not only because Tony and Bucky are both good guys trying to actually murder each other, dread and anger and excitement and sorrow, they all bubble to the surface. It's the most grown up I've ever felt watching Tin Man fight American Man fight one arm Metal Man. Number 4. Dormammu, I've come to bargain, Doctor Strange. With Kaecilius raising hell in Hong Kong, our very well-groomed Doctor heads to the Dark Dimension to confront Dormammu, but is promptly obliterated by the cosmic giant's energy ray. Well, sh thinks the crowd. That was a bold ending. However, turns out shenanigans were afoot with Steve messing with time, allowing him to continually nag Dormammu until he agrees to his demands, no matter how many times he kills him, and boy does he kill him. After being melted, Strange is also impaled, crushed, and killed potentially thousands of other ways before Dormammu finally agrees to leave Earth alone. It's a brilliantly inventive response to the complaints about too many big thing in the sky finales or uninspired battles against hordes of faceless CGI enemies. It's superb even if it did technically involve a big thing in the sky. Number three, unicorn wanking Deadpool. I don't want to go into too much detail about this, but at one point, 
Deadpool is found touching himself with a unicorn. It's, it's, uh, what's the, it's great? Yeah, let's go with the word great. Number two, Quicksilver evacuates the X-Mansion, X-Men Apocalypse. Turn up, steal the movie, and leave the Quicksilver formula. After an explosion is detonated at the X-Mansion, the Silver Fox arrives for his customary slow-mo escapades set to eurythmic sweet dreams. In a gorgeous sequence, he evacuates everyone from the mansion, including all the mutants, some goldfish, a girl about to be kissed by an unwanted suitor, and a pizza-eating dog. The scene is gorgeously designed, visually stunning, hilarious, and by far the best thing in what was otherwise a pretty dump X-Men movie. And number one, the airport battle battle, Captain America Civil War. And finally, we have the battle to end all battles, the epic showdown between Team Cap and Team Iron Man in the airport. Highlights include basically everything Spider-Man does, namely fanboying out at all the superheroes, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch collapsing a bunch of cars on Iron Man, Ant-Man and Cap throwing a flammable truck at War Machine, Ant-Man sabotaging Iron Man's suit, giant freaking man who gets felled by Spider-Man like an 8080, and he doesn't get the reference, it's brilliant, and Rhodey getting shot out of the sky. There's so much in there, with the sequence going on for bloody ages, yet never once getting boring. Not just the best comic book movie moment of 2016, but up there with the best of all time. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon.